The 2024 federal budget has caused a lot of talk and uproar with regards to the changes to the capital gains tax. These changes are coming into effect June the 25th of 2024. So there's not a lot of time to make changes or decisions around the capital gains changes. Here's what's occurred. Prior to June 25th, 2025, if you have capital gains income and you are an individual, you would pay tax on half of the capital gain. After budget changes, the capital gains will be taxed at two thirds above 250,000 of capital gains income. So in all reality, this will affect a very small amount of individuals unless you are selling um, you know, shares in a corporation or maybe a large apartment block or a rental property or you just have large amount of non-registered assets that are and capital gains that are above that $250,000 threshold. However, for corporations, dollar one of capital gains are effective immediately after the June 25th changes. So right now within your corporation when you have capital gains, you're taxed on half of the gain. Going forward, the first dollar um, two-thirds of the gain will be taxed. So here's some of the three big effects to corporations. Number one, you're going to pay more tax in your corporation if you have passive income and capital gains income. Secondly, this will adversely affect your small business deduction clawback because you have more income. And thirdly, the credit to the capital dividend account will be reduced. Now that we know the changes with the capital gains, here's what you should be considering in making the decisions for yourself. Number one, should you just trigger capital gains now and pay a lower rate on the capital gains? Secondly, should you defer prepaying tax, keep the asset, and pay more tax later? Thirdly, do you even want to sell that asset? If you have shares in a corporation or maybe a rental property, um, it might be difficult to sell that asset and you may just want to maintain it and you're better off having the growth of that asset than you are worrying about the, the extra tax that you'll have to pay later. Also. If you are triggering gains today, make sure you trigger losses after the June 25th change. There's also opportunity within your corporation to be buying flow through shares as long as they can be purchased and sold all before that June 25th deadline. Passive assets within a corporation have been a target by the Government of Canada since they implemented the small business deduction claw back several years ago. Now they're changing the capital gains rules. In our next video, we will be introducing an asset class that you should consider based on your goals and your needs that will alleviate a lot of the concerns around these capital gains changes and just changes to passive income within your corporation.